The next evolution of the music game genre will be coming later this year. It's time to trade in those plastic guitars for an all-new turntable peripheral. Mike Ribinelli from Genius Products is joining us here at the IGN booth to rip it up on Scratch, the ultimate DJ. Damon, the camera is all yours. So Mike, we're going to be representing for the Midwest side today. No doubt. Yes. You're going to be playing a song by the king of Kansas City, my hometown. This is Slacker by Tech 9 Absolutely. You ready? Take it away. Let's rip it up. Now what you're going to see here is I'm going to start off playing, and I'm going to follow the contours of the song. And uh, occasionally I'm going to drop an extra beat or two. And I'm also going to have some scratch fills where I'm going to do some freestyle scratching. So your peripheral here is a little scary for those of us that are not. I mean, I'm obviously familiar with music rhythm games. Yep. How does it, how does it translate for me? Um, it's not, you know, everybody knows a guitar, not everybody knows a turntable. This is fairly straightforward. The, um, the construction and the setup of this is more like an MPC, uh, which stands for Music Production Center, which is made by Akai, which is actually owned by Newmark. Um, and so, much like a real DJ, you have real gear opposed to a plastic guitar, and you're effectively dropping beats and adding freestyle scratches, just like a real performance DJ would do, like say, a Mixmaster Mike or a DJ Cube or somebody like that. Not like a, a club DJ, which I think is a common misconception of this game. It's like, well, wait a minute. Where are the mashups and where is you know the drum and bass and techno and electronica? It's like, we're, we're not really saying you're that kind of DJ. We're saying you're like a performance DJ, like Jam Master J. Okay. You mentioned Mixmaster Mike. He's been involved with the development of the game, hasn't he? Absolutely. We went to Mike early on because he's uh, such a world-renowned DJ. And we said, look, we want our game to look and feel as authentic as possible. You know, can you help us make sure that when we do a scribble scratch in our game, or a flare, or an orbital, or a tear, or a laser, or all any of the colorful names that they have for these games, yep, yep. when you do those <laughs> in real life, you know, right? Whenever you do those in real life, can you make sure that that sounds the same way on our controller? Yeah. He's like, well, I don't know. Can your technology handle it? Well, you know, we got him involved early on. We gave him many prototypes. And all of a sudden, he took our controller and he made it make noises that I didn't even know our controller could make. I mean, in his hands, he's like a maestro. It just, and it just sounds absolutely amazing. And knowing that that's the top level where you can get to, it sounds absolutely authentic and it's totally cool. But the nice thing is that there's an absolute one-to-one -one correlation. So when you move the wheel back and forth like this, yeah. you're doing a tear. Yeah. You go to a real turntable and you go like this, you know, you'll also do a tear. And all of a sudden, you can take that and you can, if you want to be an aspiring performing DJ, all of a sudden, you know, this can be a building block and a stepping stone for you to start your own DJ career. So people that are on the high end, especially for this game, I mean, is there some sort of option where you can upload this to your gamer profile and share your songs and all that other stuff? I wish, I wish you could. The music companies are yeah. uh, not terribly comfortable with us sort of sharing reimagining or remixes of songs. Okay. Um, but what we do allow to do, which is really, really cool, which no other rhythm music game uh, has any reason to do, is that you can actually save your performance on your hard drive. Ah, so okay. if you take this song, you drop extra beats, you do some really cool scratch tricks, and you make this song sound like it's never sounded before, all of a sudden you can call all your friends over and say, listen to this, watch this, look at this. Because before, it's like with past rhythm games, like hey, watch what I did. It's like, okay, you 100% of the song. That's great. So by, by saving it to your hard drive, then, do you have to go back into the game to play it, or can you just play it yep. direct off of your... You have to go back into the game. Again, sort of okay. in, in terms of what the music companies oh, are comfortable with. I know, like, ah. I know. Slowly but surely, we're, we're, we're getting them there. They're getting more and more comfortable, but um, it, it, it takes a little bit of a... massage them a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Oh, you know. 